Hi there, I'm Allison Waldman. I'm a movement artist in residence at the Georgetown Lombardi Arts and Humanities Program at MedStar Georgetown University Hospital. Today I'm going to show you some of my favorite ways to do some self-massage at home with one very simple tool. A tennis ball. Let's do it. For the feet, place the tennis ball on the floor and roll the soles of your feet onto its surface. Do this next to a wall or holding on to a piece of furniture so you can keep your balance. Pause, pulse, and press where it feels good. Don't forget about the inner arches. For tight hamstrings, sit up tall in a chair with an uncushioned seat and place the ball under the thigh. Lower your leg and let the weight of it do the work. Place a block or a book under your foot if it dangles in the air. Try a few different spots along the back of your leg. For tight quads, meet your IT band. Use the ball like a rolling pin and press along the tension. Be sure to breathe. For tired wrists, combine this with rolling along your forearm to release tension from typing and swiping. If you're looking for some even deeper massage, there are some things you can do on the floor with one or two tennis balls. For lower back, this is the area we're working with. Lie down on the ball and try to relax into the floor as much as possible. This can be intense, so listen to your body and breathe. If you want, add circles like this to get deeper into the muscle group. The same technique applies for the shoulders. If it feels okay, add some gentle circles and massage. Got two tennis balls? Put them into a sock or sack like this for your own specialized roller for your back and neck. Place it here so the spine lands in between and is safely cushioned. You can roll up and down or side to side. To intensify, bring your hands behind your head and lift your hips off the floor like this. You can also use this to release your shoulders and neck in the same way. Place the tennis balls very carefully on the back of your neck and rest into them. You can also move them down slightly so the pressure is more on the tops of your shoulders. Be sure to come back to seated slowly and carefully after all that massage. Here's a tip. Don't have any tennis balls? Try using a small dog toy Kong like this. Its ridges and cone shape work really well as a substitute. Happy rolling everyone! Be sure to hydrate when you're done.